Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. She's Brooke. I'm Tony. In case you guys don't know, we said our names on the channel, and you guys were going crazy with it because I guess we just don't mention it. And we don't look like our names or something. Well, it's probably because we don't say them a lot, so it's probably just throwing people off. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're the Octobers. You and guys our last name is not October, for the record. <laughs> right? You guys were calling me Tony October. No, I was just born in October. It, it used to be my gamer tag, Mr. October. Uh, so we are back with Stranger Things, man. L is missing. The little no, the little boy is missing. L, I guess, is found or something like that, but she popped out of nowhere, so she was probably like a kidnapping victim or something. And we got a lot of mystery that we need to, you know, hop into. So like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned to the end of the video. That's where we usually break the video down and talk about it. So um, really interesting show and I'm excited to watch it. Yeah, me too. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh yeah, she went missing. That was like a big deal. Hello? Thank you. Oh, I forgot about Sling and Steve over here. Yeah, I forgot they were doing that too. Oh my gosh, where is she at? It's still a pool though. I think Barb can hold on that long. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Come on, Nant. Well, what's she gonna do? She, she's, she's in Steve's room. <laughs> she told her to go home, not go wait by the pool. Yeah, that was weird though, because that was like the pool, but not the pool. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It looked the same spot. But it was like... I'm just kidding, guys. She definitely should have waited by the pool for her friend. <laughs> for all my literal folks out there. This feels like a skating ring. Like back when I was a kid or something. You know, they turn off the lights and just do the weird music. Mm -hmm. It felt like I was going to get absolutely killed at laser tag. Holly jolly. I know that sounds like some Weezer or something. What's with this holly jolly jolly? <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be home at 10? <laughs> hey, Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you tomorrow, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang, Steve went to sleep. <laughs> you need to man up, Steve. <laughs> it's funny because that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we were dating and then I came over and fell asleep, you'd have been like, I tried to, you wouldn't let me. Right, well, that's what I'm saying. It was like a gender swap thing. <gasps> Jesus, you scared me. Oh, whose sweatshirt is that? Steve's? Steve's. So is Steve your boyfriend now? You can talk to me. Whatever happened, nothing happened. She's just trying that, Mom. She asked both her kids that. Nothing happened. Can I please go? Yeah, she's trying. You can't keep putting on my curfew when they keep having to study. That's so annoying. Well, my parents would have demanded an answer out of me. <laughs> I'd have been getting punched up those stairs. What's his name again, baby? Jonathan. Jonathan. What is this? Come here. Come here. She's on to something. It's Will. It's Will. He's, he's trying to talk to me. He's trying to talk to you. He's through, through the lights. Mom. I know. Like in her cell? I know. Yeah, right? Through the books. Just, just watch. Will, your brother's here. Can you show him what you showed me, baby? Please. Did you see that? It's the electricity, I see Mom. It. I just know that Will is here. Oh, no, Mom. Maybe if I, if I get no, more No, Mom, labs, you I... don't need more oh. labs. You need to stop this. Hey, he's just lost. People are looking for him, but they're going to find him. Can you do me a favor, Mom? Can you just try and get some sleep? Huh? Yeah. Can you do that for me? I promise yeah. I will. Yeah. I just need to sit here for a minute. I like Jonathan. Right, I'll go make breakfast. Okay. Yeah. But he should listen to her, because I really do think she's on to something. I don't know. But I mean, she also might be like, on really going through psychosis? it. Yes. Binoculars from Nam. <laughs> Hammer and the wrist rocket. You're going to take out the Demogorgon with a slingshot? The Demogorgon's not real. It's made up. But if there is something out there, I'm going to shoot it in the eye <laughs> and blind it. <laughs> Dustin, what did you get? Oh, shoot. <laughs> the provisions. Smarties, Pringles, no way for apple, banana, and <laughs> She's gonna come Seriously, steal the food out we the need bag. energy for our travels. And besides, why do we even need weapons anyway? We have her. She shut one door. <laughs> kidding me? That's insane. Imagine all the other cool stuff she could do. She could make this fly. What? Okay, one more time. <laughs> okay, use your powers. 
<laughs> Idiot. She's not a dog. Boys, time for school. Stay down here. Don't make any noise and don't leave. If you, Man, get you can't hungry, trust her. Eat dust and snacks. Okay? Michael! Coming! Oh, you know shoot. Power lines? <laughs> power lines? Yeah. The ones behind my house? Yes. Meet us there after school. After school? When the numbers read 315, meet us there. 315. 315. Aww. She's so, like... New to the game. Yes. I feel like in real life, she'd be kind of frustrating to hang out with. Yeah, if someone told me 315, I'd be like, what are you even talking about? Like, No, she would I, have, I like, no go. reference or clue to what that is. Hey. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I had a good time. Yeah, me too. I get the vibe. She doesn't really like him. Hmm. Or maybe she does. I don't know. Well, I think he's just popular. <clears throat> and I think she's just going through, like, the whirlwinds of, like, you know what I mean? The attention and stuff. So she likes hey, Where's Bart? that stuff. Um, shouldn't you know? You haven't seen her anywhere at all? Yeah, she got eight. Yeah, she is. <laughs> <laughs> I heard they make space weapons in there. Hey, can I help you? We're here for a tour. We don't give tours. Oh. What's your name? Patrick. Patrick, I got a panicked mayor, and I got a very upset mother. Now, I know the kid's not in there, but I got to check off this box. Patrick, would you do me a favor? He's going to say no. Speak to your boss and see what you could swing for us. I'd really appreciate it. Convincing. How's a security guard going to get clearance to let you in there? I know, you'd have to slide him at least a 20. A 20. That man makes a 20 you 35 an hour. <gasps> She's doing it. She's like, boring. <laughs> She looks like she escaped like military school. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's like bag wars. <laughs> <laughs> Watch her have no problem with this when the dad had a problem. Oh, the. Oh, it's coat. a flashback. your nose bleeding does he love that it's like bringing a pepsi can oh yeah get some morse code going shouldn't that be plenty oh no 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 not the boss again i feel so bad for this lady and you think this missing boy he may have crawled through there no one breaks in here. Certainly not some kid. Those cameras, you keep the tape? They always hey, do. They might not want them to escape them tapes. Right. You're asking the wrong guys. They're going to be Same conveniently off that day. Is that the 6th and 7th we're seeing here? Well, that's correct. Is that it? Like I said, we would have seen him. Night of the 7th, we had a search party out for Will. You remember anything about that night? Yeah, a lot of rain that night. You see any rain on that tape? Mm. What hey. are you thinking? I don't know, but they're lying. Let's go. Development. Breaking development, chief. Oh, someone's in there. You think they got a little spot right there? <laughs> no, it was just a little transition. Look at him just doing nothing. This show is such a blast from the past. Blue carpet? That's crazy. Right. My neighbor had blue carpet growing up. Does that mean there's like waterbed times? Mm hmm do you like water beds? Well, I remember people always would say they could pop. And right. like that just is, gives me anxiety for some reason. When we watched Freddy Krueger, I was like, I'm good. I'm good. On oh, this. yeah, true. Me too. Those things are creepy in my opinion, but I think she thought it was nice. That's the life she never got to have, huh? Yeah. Well, she just wants to be loved. I swear. Totally oh, you said thanks, she's man. still young, like she's it's not a missing pool. science experiment. Well, she can still build a life for herself. I don't care what it is, it's disgusting. Just get it off the table. We're eating here. Hey, hey Tommy, when you left, did you see Barb? What? Barbara. <laughs> she's what? not here today. <laughs> I seriously have no idea who you're talking about. Did you see her leave last night or not? No. She was gone when we left. Probably couldn't stand listening to all that moaning. <gasps> oh, Steve! Oh, Steve. It definitely wasn't oh, like that. Steve. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. She's probably just, she's probably just like skipping. Yeah, probably. That's not Barb at all. So do you think Eleven was born with her powers like the X-Men or do you think she acquired them like, like Green Lantern? She's not a superhero. <laughs> she's a weirdo. What does that matter? The X-Men are weirdos. If you love her so much, why don't you marry her? What are you talking about? Mike, seriously. What? You look at her all like, hi, Elf. Elf. 
Ow, ow. I love you so much. Would you marry me? Shut up, Lucas. Yeah, oh, shut up, Lucas. What are the bullies doing back here? Probably looking for their missing friend. That's not funny. He's dead. That's what my dad says. Come on, just ignore them. Oh, oh, oh man. Like he's going, frog face. You all right? Yeah. Maybe Elle can use some of her psychic powers on them one day. Like give him a wedgie hey. by just looking at right. him. How about this one? Yeah. 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 This is it. Aww. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is the monster killer. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he's gonna know some missing info about Barb. Man, you should have thrown those pictures away. Right. Those are gonna get you locked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Hey. Oh, hey. Ooh. She's like, girl nice stalking. <laughs> <laughs> she looked disgusted, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, that's the public place, dude. <laughs> I know, that's like giving it to CBS. It's beautiful in there, kind of. Hey. Hey, Karen. Oh. I brought you a casserole. Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, you want to... <laughs> Give me a plate. Hey, Marissa, how you doing? You have a lot of nerve showing up here. <laughs> you could have at least called, said, Marissa, hey, it's not going to work out. Sorry I wasted your time. I'm a dick. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe we could go out again next week. <laughs> okay, we're looking for anything on the Hawkins National Laboratory. Shouldn't you be looking for that missing kid? Yeah. So why don't you start with the times and we'll check out the post. <laughs> <laughs> the library. It's a small town. He's got all the connections, don't he? Look at his computer. The monitor's huge. <laughs> MK Ultra. That's the government mind control program. Very eyes. They use it on Charles Manson. So I thought if I, I put the lights up, no, he feel like he was home somehow. I, I, it's silly, I know. No, it's not silly. Good cover. How is Jonathan <laughs> holding up? You know, he's good at taking care of himself. He always has been. He thinks I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Something the matter? Uh, no, no, I just, we're having electrical problem. Joyce, I want you to know something. If you need anything, anything <gasps> at all, Ted and I are here for you. Thank you, thanks. Okay. How, how's my cool novice? See ya. It's called Holly Jolly for a reason. What if they take that little girl? Stop it. Mm -mm. That's the wall. Just let me throw in that casserole, okay? Oh, where's Holly? Well, I was thinking if I saw those lights, I'd be thinking, oh, guys. Hey! She shouldn't be here. Wait, did, did you see something? Yeah. What, did, what did you see? Tell me, what did Joyce. you see? What? Joyce. Listen, Karen, thank you for the casserole, but I need you to leave. Hello? Hi. Hi, uh, Miss Holland. It's Nancy. Oh, Nancy, how are you? Good. I'm good. Um, I was just wondering, uh, is, ba is Barb there? Mm, no, she hasn't come home yet. But she did come home, right? After the vigil? No, she said she was staying with you last night. <laughs> right, yes, she did. Sorry. I meant, did she come home this morning? I think she left some textbooks and she was gonna go pick them up. No, I haven't seen her. You, you know what? I just remembered, she's at the library. Nancy, will you please have her call me as soon as you find her? Yeah, I will. Sorry to bother you. I'll be stressed. Her whole story's about to come unraveled. Now there's a missing person. Hey, man. What's going on? Nicole here was uh, telling us about your work. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no? Oh. Hey, please give me my back. Get, oh, no, just <laughs> Oh, man, he is like totally trembling. You must really have something to hide. Here we go. Oh, no. Ah. Here we go. Oh, man. Let me see. Hi. Dude. Yeah, it's going to be hard to explain. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. I was looking for my brother. No, no, this is called stalking. What's yeah. going on? Here's the starring lady. What? This creep was spying on us last night. Probably going to save this one for later. <laughs> so, you just have to take away his toy. No, please, not the camera. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Tommy, Tommy. It's okay. Here you go, man. Dang. Man, it'd be really hard not to beat Steve up. Come on, let's go. The game's about to start. But I see why Ooh. Steve's mad, though, because that would look awkward. Right. Hey. Steve's one to talk, though. Come on, Nancy. Like, every time he's trying to make a move on Nancy, she looks like she's about to start crying. Nice. Come on. 
because she just stole them. <laughs> yeah, I'd be wanting to pick those up too. 305. 305. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> no. Brain activity is going crazy right now. That's where she draws the line. We'll see what they do to her. <laughs> she keeps calling him Papa. So what do you think? That's either her dad or he's just got her completely brainwashed. Or maybe he's just like, that's the persona he takes on to all the kids. She's strong. Oh, she's got bodies. Yeah, maybe it's a manipulation tactic. Incredible. Ugh. So he's mean and then nice. Good cop, bad cop. Al, you okay? Hop on. We only have a few hours. Mm-mm. I'll be so scared to ride on the back of that. Oh, nice. Where are you going? I, t I t totally forgot. I told my mom I would um I'd do something with her. I don't think anyone at my school is as cringy start. as these people like in their life. What the hell's wrong with her? Maybe she freaked out when you went on Psycho and the Psycho. Ah, uh, give me a break. What'd you expect, dating Miss Perfect? Hmm. Well, stop telling your teachers to blow you. <laughs> Why did they hurt you? What? Oh, that. I just fell at recess. Like, yeah? Friends, tell the truth. Whoa, she's talking. I was tripped by this mouth breather, Troy, okay? Mouth, mouth breather? breather. <laughs> yeah, you know, a dumb person. A knucklehead. <laughs> knucklehead? I don't know why I just didn't tell you. Everyone at school knows. I just didn't want you to think I was just such a waste of you know? Mike, yeah? I understand. She got bullied too. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Aww. Yeah, it's freak out time now. Barb! Barb! I would feel so responsible. Oh my gosh. Barb? 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 When you said Morse code with the lights, I kind of thought that was like kind of smart, but I got to thinking about it. You think Will knows Morse code? Exactly. He's like six. <laughs> he's not six, but you know, he's young. It'd have been a good idea though. I thought about it too. I was like, is that the most universal language Morse code? <laughs> it is though, right? I don't speak it. <laughs> I don't well, know. I mean like it's the way I to communicate English. in different languages. Yeah. Will, are you here? <gasps> Whoa. Okay, once for yes. Twice for no. Can you do that for me, sweetie? Can you do oh, Good boy. Good boy. Maybe I need to know. Are you alive? Let's go. Are you safe? <gasps> no. That's so scary. I need to know where to find you, honey. Where? Where are you? Can you? Can you tell me where you are? Can you? Please, baby. I need to find you. Tell me what to do. Please. Will. She needs to get a light up Ouija board. Oh, oh, there's A. Oh, oh I see, I see. So, okay. So she's about to put it under the light. Oh, so you can spell out words. Hey, you're home early. If it works. Game. Nancy? What's the matter? Time to talk. It's Barb. I think something happened. Something terrible. I don't know, Chief. What don't you know? This lady, Terry Ives, sounds like a real nut to me. Her kid was taken for LSD mind control experiments. Claim was thrown out. Don't forget about her. Take a look at this. Dr. Martin Brenner. He runs Hawkins' lab. Okay. You don't find that interesting? Not really. <laughs> Work with me here. I'm not saying that there's some grand conspiracy. I'm just... There's a grand conspiracy. I'm saying maybe something happened. Maybe Will was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he saw something that he shouldn't have. Hey, Powell, is the chief with you? Popper here, what do you got? Mm. Mm. This show is stressing me out. I can feel myself getting invested. Yeah. Here. Yeah, this is where Will lives. Hiding. No, no, this is where he lives. 
He's missing from here. Understand? What are we doing here? She said he's hiding here. Um, no. I swear, <laughs> if we walked all the way out here for nothing... That's exactly what we did! I told you she didn't know what the hell she was talking about. Why did you bring us here? Don't waste your time with her. We should have done yesterday. We are not hey, calling guys. the cops. W what other choice do we have? Hey, guys! Mm. I thought that they called the cop because Barb was missing. Me too. You think they found Will? Well, no. No, the mom's still sitting there doing that. Talk to me, where are you? Are good, 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 good. That's good, come on, come on. I, G, H, T, H, Right here? E, <gasps> oh, R, that's scary. E, right here. I, I don't know what that means. What should do? I, He's I, there, I, but not just like Barb was. What should I do? How do I get to you? What should I do? Uh-uh. Mm. I'm about to have a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh. How does that thing just come out of the wall like that, though? I don't even know. Is like, that a gray alien? No, I, I, under, I done said I know more than you know, so I kind of understand where it's coming from, but I just don't get how it can just choose to do it whenever. Like right, because it looks like sometimes you deal with the lights and then it comes. I don't know. It's, it was where Holly was. What did they find? Oh, God, please tell me it's not the kid. Ah. Uh... Oh no. That's Barb? I think that's Will. It's not Will. It can't be. It's Will. It's really Will. What? Mike. Mike? Mike what? You're supposed to help us find him alive. You said he was alive. Hey, come on. Don't do this, man. Mike. Mike, where are you going? Mike. Dang, so Will's dead, but so I guess she was talking to his spirit, huh? I don't know. Because he was just saying run. There is so much going on right now. Jeez. You see the cops coming? That's it. That was intense. Oh, man. Golly, that was some damn good television. Jeez. Okay, guys. Super quick recap before we get into the next episode. Uh, we got development, man. We got MK Ultra. So apparently the head scientist guy over at Hawkins Laboratory is experimenting do you know what mk ultra is okay so you're pretty familiar with that I, I, I thought she was we've talked about it yeah man mk ultra if you don't know what it is then why are you watching stranger things you should definitely go look into that and then watch stranger things because it'll enhance the experience for sure which i'm sure most of you guys do and then uh, i guess we'll start backwards in the end we talked to will and i was feeling hopeful i i didn't see that that was will on that gurney but was that not What's will a gurney the thing that you carry Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. It looked like a young kid, but I couldn't tell who. Right. And so it looks like someone got thrown off that super tall cliff. So oh, maybe yeah, that somebody got thrown off about. or maybe somebody jumped because on a dare and didn't make it. I don't know, man. But the show was trying to say that was Will. But one thing about TV, man, is you never believe it until you see it. Confirm mm -hmm. your kills. If you shoot the guy, he's always going to bounce back up unless you shoot him in the face. All, all those rules apply to the show as well, I'm sure. So uh, Barb came up missing. Steve tried to beat the dude up because he got caught taking weird pictures. Eleven and Will's relationship is becoming a little deeper. She's learning how to communicate with him. And she's, you know, obviously a quick learner. It seems like Lucas and Dustin, I don't know how much they really love that because they're losing their friend in a way. Yeah. They feel, a, you know, a rift coming between them, but... I mean, all in all, I think she's a great addition to the team, but um, just an incredible episode, guys. So the, I, I guess the number one takeaway is Hopper. Is it Hopper? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Hopper basically has an inkling that they're lying at the facility because they obviously edited the tape and they cut the day out, and or either they manipulated the day and put like the fake date on it. Mm -hmm. We're not really sure, but we know they're lying. That's the phrase that he used. So crazy episode, man. I feel so bad for the little boy's mom. And yeah, what did you think about the episode? I thought it was really interesting. I think the communication, though, to Will or whoever they're communicating with, it looked like a gray alien, in my opinion. But the communication is really confusing to me. So I need to watch one more so I can really fully get what's going on. I don't. 
I, I really don't have much to add. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it that way. Thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in, and let's get into another episode. Right, once they break the mystery open, then we got something to talk about. You know what I mean? No, we gotta identify him. Whoever you found is not my boy. It's not Will. No, you, you don't understand. I, I talked to him a half hour ago. He was he was here. He was he was talking with these. Talking? Uh-huh. He's in danger. We have to find him. We what exactly was this thing? It was some kind of animal, you said? Uh, no, <laughs> it was uh, I, it was almost human, but it wasn't. It it had these lo long arms and it, it didn't have a face. It didn't have a face. After Sarah, I saw her too, and I heard her. I didn't know what was real, and then I figured out that it was in my mind. Delusional at the least. God, I, look. I want you to try to get some sleep if you can. That would be impossible. What is she doing? Probably gonna tear down the wall. Yeah, she's about to put a hole where that monster's coming out, huh? Oh no, she's just ready. The state police are mounting an investigation to determine buyer's cause of death. That's so sad, this man. Should I go down and talk to Michael? Give him time. Can you please stop that? Oh, he's getting frustrated with her. Are you deaf? I thought we were friends, you know? <laughs> friends tell each other the truth. Maybe you thought you were helping, but you weren't. You hurt me. Do you understand? What you did sucks. Mm -hmm. Lucas was right about you. All along. Don't that just sort of hurt your feelings for her? Ooh, that's freaky deaky. Mm -hmm. Will, is that you? It's Mike. Do you copy? Over. Say something back, Will. Will, are you there? Who's that? Will. Mm hmm. This is so confusing. And by confusing, I mean in a good way. Well, that must have took a lot of, like, mental strain on her because she can make things float and levitate and do all kinds of stuff at this point. And she doesn't believe. But that really took something out. I'm really loving this intro, by the way. Yes. Created by the, what is that, Duffer? <laughs> or Doofer? That stressed me out because I can't tell what's real. Oh, we go. What, what, what time is it? It's almost eight. We have to go. Where? Where? To see Will. Mm. I don't think I can go to school today. Okay. But if you need anything, call dad at work. Is he playing with his mama right now? Bye. Bye, sweetie. Yeah, he is. Lucas, do you copy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna stop until you answer. Lucas, 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 it all just clicked. This facility done threw one of those kids in the water. Anyways, man, they done threw one of these kids in the water to try to make it seem like Will got rid of the coroner and then replaced it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you do in, in cases when you want to win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You switch out the coroner. She doesn't believe it. Right, but he kind of did. There's a birthmark on his right arm. Can you show that to me, please? How long has this stuff been going on with the lights and uh, Will and the thing in the wall? Since the first phone call, I guess. You know, she's had anxiety problems in the past. But this, I don't know. I mean, that was crazy. How can you explain the phone I'm thing? It could be, I don't know. My mom, she's tough. Yeah, she is. Hey, she is. Oh, he's gonna Ma help. Ma'am, I need you to stop. I don't, I don't know what you think that thing is in there, but that is not my son. Joyce, wait a second. Mom. No! Mom! Ma'am! Ma'am! No birthmark. She called BS on that. We're they were just trying to close the case. You seriously think you saw a guy in a mask just hanging out in my yard? I don't think it was a mask. But he had no face? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I just, I have a terrible feeling about this. Oh, this is bad. The cops, they're going to want to talk to all of us now. Tommy, Carol, everybody who was at the party. So? My parents are going to murder me. 
can't believe you right now. I can't believe you. Nancy. Yeah, you suck, Steve. <clears throat> Were those not the same shoes for his gump had? Yeah, they did look like it. Mom, will you just get in, please? Mom! Can't you just stop this car on the road like that? Mom, we have to deal with the funeral. The funeral? For, for, for who? For that thing back there? I am going to bring him home! Yes. Yeah, well, while you're talking to the lights, the rest of us are having a funeral <laughs> for Will. I'm not letting him sit in that freezer another day. Aww. That's crazy, man. That show's over. <laughs> What? Everyone just needs to communicate because Will's trying to talk to everybody. <laughs> right. Like, why doesn't she bring him in? But, all right, Will, talk to your brother. I think somehow she's channeling him. Like, like Professor X. <laughs> Are you actually believing this crap? He's dead. Then what was in that water? I don't know. Will is alive. He's out there somewhere. All we have to do is find him. This is so puzzling. This isn't going to work. We need to get L to a stronger radio. Mr. Clark's Heath Kid ham check. The Heath kids at school. There is no way we're gonna get the weirdo in here without anyone noticing. I mean, look at her. <laughs> <laughs> he just got the makeup out. <laughs> oh. They're about to have her looking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do so bad. Mm -mm. <laughs> she was Amish. <laughs> wow. She looks pretty. Aw. Good. You look pretty good. They laid that wig on there, though, didn't they? They did a good job with the hairline. They styled it up. <laughs> That was so wholesome and sweet. The hazmat trio. Boy, them blue lights in my eye will make it hard to see, no? I said, I'm going in, boys. Where's he going? I don't know. Boys, hear me all right there? Loud and clear, Shepard. Good luck in there, son. Uh-oh. Oh, I was picturing him descending into a hole. Yeah, because they strapped him up. Oh, it's that hole in the wall. I forgot about that. You mean the sludge in the wall? Ugh. Ugh. <clears throat> I just thought you couldn't jump in there. You know, I just wouldn't have tried. I'd be kind of Round embarrassed to do that. Swiftly out of the heart of darkness. I wouldn't want my boys to see me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Twice the speed of our upward progress. And Kurtz's life was running swiftly too. Nancy Wheeler, if you'll come with me, please. Oh, I just said, hopper. oh, because that's what kids do when people- This <laughs> argument you and Barbara had, what exactly was it about? It wasn't really an argument. Barb just wanted to leave. Then I went upstairs to put on some dry clothes. And the next day you went back and saw a barrier thinking. I don't know what it was, but I think- A no face bear? I think maybe it took Barb. She wasn't maybe upset about the fact that you're spending time with this boy, uh, Steve Harrington? What? No. Maybe she was jealous because she saw you go up to Steve's room? It wasn't like that. Like what? Steve <laughs> and me, we're, we're just friends. We, we just talked. Now, is this before or after you changed out of your clothes? Dang, man. Why is the cop insinuating so hard? Why do you care? The mom's there, dude. <laughs> 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 We've come together to heal. This looks like the one on Mean Girls. We've come together to grieve. You lied to the police. You and Steve were just talking. We slept together. It has nothing to do with Barb, and she's missing. It's something terrible happened to her. I know it. I know it. Nancy, just leave me alone. What's she gonna find, though? It's that rare occasion when you're glad you have a stalker. <laughs> yeah. What? No, nah, I feel like the internet would go crazy on you if you posted that. No, the internet now would be like, that's AI generated. No, well, I guess a weather boy. Weather boy. Shepard, come in. Confirm calm. Can you describe to us what it is you see? Over. It's low visibility. I'm about one foot south of the lift. Everything's still here. But it's all eroded. Cover the boil. Ugh. There's something else. There's something else in there. Wheel him in. Wheel him back in! Amen. 
He's in a straight tussle. It's almost like he's bait on the end of a fish line. And we have to believe Will's alive, you know? Yeah, Will's down there surviving somehow. He's probably hiding. Will Byers' death is an unimaginable tragedy. Will was an exceptional student and a wonderful friend to all of us. They probably didn't even know his name till today. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids are so dense. There's no way. <laughs> He's going to leave a hole in the community. Last <laughs> breather. Do you remember? Come on, Elle. Smack them. Just a little bit. Not too much. Maybe untie their shoes when they're not looking. Time together. <laughs> In gym class. You think this was funny? Would you say, Wheeler? I, I saw you guys laughing over there. Didn't you listen to the counselor, Wheeler? Grief shows itself in funny ways. <laughs> Besides, what's there to be sad about anyway? Will's in fairyland now, right? Flying around with all the other little fairies, all mm -mm. happy and gay. La 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 la. Mm -mm. <gasps> oh. That kid went down easy. <laughs> dead, Wheeler. Dead! Oh. Oh, nobody's gonna mess with him now. Dude, Troy beat himself. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Let's go. Ooh. Dang, Troy. Pee Pants Jones. His friend left a look. <laughs> it looks like it could be some kind of perspective distortion, but I wasn't using a wide angle. And you're sure you didn't see anyone else out there? No. And she was there one second and then um, gone. I figure she bolted. Man, she's kind of big to be bolting. <laughs> this man you saw in the woods, what do you look like? I don't know. He might think it it's his dad. Like he didn't have, he didn't have a face. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> man, I'm trying to be scared over here, but we ain't watching comedies. You think his dad is long lost dad just out there running around? <laughs> <laughs> so goofy. Another from my uh, friend here. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's all right. I'm, uh, I'm celebrating. My daughter. She won the spelling bee today. Your daughter? What's her name? Her name's Sarah. Sarah. This is a throwback? I mean, not a throwback. What's it called? A flashback? <laughs> yeah, a flashback. I recognize you. You famous or something? Uh, you might have seen me on TV. I, uh, I found that buyer's boy. Um, nope. Manipulating. So you on that case or what? No, I just saw him on patrol, you know. So that quarry, that's, uh, that's state run where they found the boy, huh? Yeah. So why are you lying to me, man? Oof. What's your problem, bud? I don't have a problem. I'm just a concerned citizen. Yeah, we'll stick your nose someplace else. The kid is dead. End of story. Thanks for ruining the game, dick. <laughs> yeah, why are you so mad, though? You had to leave because you know it's a lie. Yeah, he should have kept his mouth shut. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Who told you to be out there? He just told me to call it in and not let anybody get too close. Get close to what? Body. Who do you work for? You're gonna get us both killed. Who is that? Hey! Hey! There's big forces here at me. Dang, so Hopper's not scared to get in there and punch people right in the face, huh? No. Why well, I mean, it helps when you're the sheriff. <laughs> but he was trying to act like a civilian. <laughs> Listen? Yes. I want you to listen to what he says and repeat his words back to me, just like we used to with those old nursery rhymes. Do you think you can do that for me? He's filming it. Mm -hmm. Good. Is that a Hopper? I don't think so. Repeat the words. That's like the Winter Soldier. doing it. She's finding him. This is crazy. Calm down. She just closed her eyes. Oh, what is that? Mom. Will? Mom. Is she like... Will? Will? I don't want to say too much because... Can you hear us? We're here. Hello? Oh. Oh. I 
can he hear us? I don't know. Ah! That weird stomach thing. Well, it's coming. So he's in that place that Barb went to. What do we, what do we want to call that? Oppositeville? It, it looks like the world, but it's not. All right, so Will's in Oppositeville. Oh, are you okay? Oh, can you move? Here, help her up. How's she connected to Oppositeville? That's my thing. Her, oh, you talking about Elf? Oh, it's not there anymore. Yeah, she just tore a hole through her wall. Did your mom say anything else? Like, um, where it might have gone to, or? No, oh, just that it came out the wall. Mm-mm, y'all about to see something so scary. Not long. Have you been doing this a while? What? Taking pictures of me? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'd rather observe people than, you know. Talk to them. I know, it's weird. Lyris. No, it is. It's just sometimes people don't really say what they're really thinking. But you capture the right moment. That's it. That's what I saw. That looked like an alien. That was like, try me. I thought she was crazy. But she said, that's not Will's body. That he's alive. And if he's alive. And Barbara. Oh, she might be alive too. Although she wasn't hiding. Seems like Will's hiding. Yeah, that's kind of where I was thinking she got took, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, Patty. Hey, uh, pizza, did you? Oh, you know, I forgot my hat. Oh. <laughs> Just be a minute. <laughs> okay. Hey, you can't be back here. Yeah, I just got off the line with O'Bannon. He said that he needs to see you at the station in some emergency. What the hell are you talking about? I don't work with O'Bannon. I say O'Bannon? I meant... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you gotta do. Hey, if you gotta put a mother... You just sleep. <laughs> put just him to, to sleep. Just to figure it out. Just to figure out the mystery. That's some crazy junk that'll be checking the freezers. Yeah, that's definitely not Will. They look older than Will. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Man, that's so unnecessary. That huh? seems like the type of body that's gonna open its eye, you know? Start screeching? Yeah. Ah. Bro, no, no, don't. Mm. That's a whole different charge right there. Ah! <laughs> well, I don't know what's gonna pop out. I'm just thinking about The Last of Us. You know how nasty it is? Yeah, like cordyceps. cordyceps. Yeah. That's why these people have, uh, they have hazmat suits on. That's like a damn build a bear. The mom said that thing, and I'm sitting here wondering, how can you call a dead human a that thing? But I get it now. It's a, it is a that thing. Like those little aliens they're trying to pass off in Mexico? Yeah, the, <laughs> the paper mache aliens. Hey, Jesus, the hell happened? How's he gonna explain to somebody that he like cut open a corpse though? I don't know, man. Like, he videotaped the whole thing. It's all good, but this is the '80s. Damn, it's over. All right, guys, I, I'm way too into Stranger Things. <laughs> I think I'm a big old fan of this show, babe. What do you think? I'm loving it. I'm having a blast. There's something that's so fun about it. I really think it's the '80s vibe of just the, you know, the bright lights and the bright colors and stuff. Yeah. You know, when music. I bought these shorts the other day, I was thinking these were like '80s. So yeah, we watched the first two episodes of Stranger Things, and I've been really needing shorts because I'm. Uh, I'm at a 2XL now. So anyways, but I got these very bright shorts and I was thinking these are like Stranger Things colors. So when I seen them, I was thinking about this show. Yeah, they have like a retro vibe. It's so retro, right? And your dad dresses like a Stranger Things. He, your dad dressed like Dustin back in his day. Yeah, basically. Right. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie, and my dad used to have hair like that. Ronnie too. B got style, y'all. <laughs> man, some of the clothes that he rocks in his older pictures, I'm like, dang, you still got that tank top, Ronnie B? <laughs> anyways, uh... Really good episode. I'm loving the whole MK Ultra spin on it. 
because I don't think I've ever seen it portrayed in media, I guess. Right. Have you? No. And obviously it's Elle's part of the story. Like Mm -hmm. she's in that. I just don't really know how. Okay, so I do want to say the the parallel place where Will is, you know, it's called the don't, uh, don't tell opposite. Him. Just don't don't say. Well, it's Oppositeville, right? So I'm gonna call it Oppositeville. And so I understand, like, kind of when I when I was saying I understand what the show's about. That's what the show is about to me. But that's as deep as it got. And so um, I don't really know anything other than that. But going into the show, I did know that there was like an opposite parallel. Mm -hmm. where everything was the same but it was different i don't really know why or anything like that but that's pretty much the premise of the show right right so i just wanted to get that out so going into the first two episodes i sort of knew that so that's where we are with it but it's really interesting so i guess we need to try to figure out what is that place right it looks like it can be physical but also not at the same time like so when barb got absorbed it seemed physical when that guy jumped in it it seemed physical but Wills didn't seem that physical to me when he got captured. Well, the way that I'm perceiving it is like, so everything has an equal and opposite reaction. And, you know, so every everything has an opposite. So if we're, you know, the physical world, then we should have an equal and opposite reaction. So there should also be like an opposite of us. So maybe that world is the opposite of this reality. And that reality, maybe it's a true reality that's, I don't know. It's just going to be interesting to see how it's portrayed. I need to see more of it. I really mm-hmm. like the way it looked at the pool. It looked like everything was the same. So I get a little bit too deep. I start thinking, well, if they're at the pool, does that mean in that reality there was humans who dug the pool? Or is it just, you know, like when you write on a piece of paper and then there's the outline on the other sheet right. of paper? It's kind of like that in a way. So pretty interesting. I I like the story of Hopper. I think, his, I think he's going to have a huge redemption arc because I feel like if he doesn't figure this out, he's going to get dang near close. Well, he's uncommitted a lot of felonies, so he has to figure it <laughs> yeah. out at this point. He but I feel like he's doing it partially for some something about his daughter, like, leads him in to want to do it. But also, I feel like maybe he kind of believes Joyce. Well, I think the bottom root cause is the fact that it affected a kid, and he did lose his daughter, so... Mm-hmm. The more he's looking into it, I think the more he's starting to realize that kids are connected mm-hmm. and they're basically exploiting missing kids. So mm-hmm. I think that sort of enrages him and he's willing to punch people and do all right. this stuff over it because it's the ultimate evil, really. So um, good on Hopper. I'm wondering at this point, like, are people in the police force, are they paid, like paid off by these people? I don't know, man. I just have a lot of questions we need more this is this is kind of like a slow burn of a show so yeah it needs to progress a little faster because i have a lot of questions right and i'm basically going to be sitting here just asking questions like in my mind i want to know more about oppositeville what exactly is it is it a science experiment going wrong is it something that just exists in nature i have a lot of questions and then another thing is why are they doing mind control stuff with l but at the same time, they're doing stuff with like an like a parallel reality or something. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. They're like they're. How do they link? Well, and that's the thing. I I was kind of thinking. I was thinking maybe L was made or like structured to communicate with like that or be able to tell. I don't. I don't really know because I have to watch more. But that's the vibe I'm getting. Is she is somehow like a medium between the two? Oh, that World. makes sense. That makes sense. I don't know. Right. That, that's yeah. just what I've been thinking. But because the way she can communicate with like static electricity and she's dang near reproduced in like a or I don't know if she is reproduced there, but somehow she developed this skill set and it was through an energy plant. So for me, it has something. The Department of Energy. Yeah. So you're just saying that. Yeah. OK, so. Coming into the show, because like I said, I knew that was the parallel reality aspect of the show. So in my mind, when we met the character, I just thought she was from there. Mm -hmm. And so I thought that's why she had those powers. But maybe not. I mean, maybe not at all. Maybe her ultimate power was to open it up. Maybe it was. Oh, yeah. Or open it up. Right. You know, like because that's what happened on the wall. It it opened up and then, you know, it was almost like the veil between the two realities bled into each other. Right. Right. But the weird part to me about that whole thing was it's in that little lab. And I thought maybe, yeah, they can like scientifically or conjure it or something. But then when it was in Joyce's wall, that that's when I was like, this is really strange, you know, because when she opened her wall, it wasn't there anymore, but it was for a short period of time. 
Well, I knew when she was beating the wall, I knew the next scene was going to be, you know, her looking through the wall into her own reality. But it's almost like when Elle uses her powers. Right. It opened that portal. It opens it. And yeah. she's like manipulating the like the magnetic fields and stuff because she's affecting like all the radio waves and all this stuff. And it's almost like she's just creating like a certain vibration that's opening the veil between the realities. And so. I don't know. I don't really know all the logistics of it, and that's why we need to watch more. But I'm really hoping the show doesn't leave it very just open to interpretation in those ways. I really hope we get like a mathematical theory of how this actually works, and I hope it's really consistent in the show because it, it, it's very interesting. Um, I think we know just as much as Hopper knows, you know? <laughs> like, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah when yeah, Hopper yeah. figures it out, I feel like we'll be on the same level of like. Right. It's kind of hard to talk about because it's kind of confusing. Yeah. Right. Like, like I said, I had a perception of what I thought I knew, but. And then they threw the whole MK Ultra thing in there, mm -hmm. and I, I had no idea that was going to be part of the show. So that's really interesting for sure. But I can see why everyone really likes it because well, MK Ultra is like mind control, right? But well, I was thinking she does, she is doing like telepathic things, but maybe it was just like that's just what they said in the paper, and that it's like more than that. Well, she they told her to look at someone and find them. Well, when they said that, I was she just had cerebro, thinking, Loki. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Professor X. So. Yeah, yes. And um, Dustin said it. Like, And I'm glad we watched the X-Men before this because I wouldn't even known who they were. But, you know, I'm glad we knew that. Yeah. I don't know exactly what the end result of MK Ultra was supposed to be in real life. I know I've heard that they wanted opposing soldiers to be able to walk like to walk up to battle and then control them and make them think like through like frequencies and stuff that they were literally on fire and mm. stuff like that so i don't know i don't know how real any of that is i have no idea but i know there's some really freaky stuff out there man for real mm. and i don't know man but very interesting show i think hopper is because in that picture i'm sorry to interrupt you but in that mm. picture that newspaper article there was like women there was like, was it just women? I think I think it. I don't know. It looked like just women, but they were like all in um, the nightgowns, but none of them were L. So when they and that was like a long time ago article. So it's like, I I don't know. I feel like something like maybe those people they're either capturing kids or those people are breeding kids. Maybe or, they're capturing kids, experimenting, doing their thing, and then if they don't work out, they just toss them in that little hole. Oh, when that little. That when might, they sent them in, theory. well, when they sent them in, like we got a couple shots of it before and I knew it was sort of like a hole. It kind of looked like a hole going into, like I said, I knew there was like a opposite reality, right? It looked like the hole to it. But when that dude went in, it was so nasty like, right. and gross the way they portrayed it. And I don't, I don't think I'd ever want to go in. It that. looks like organs to me, like a stomach. Maybe that's like a living organism. Oh. Like maybe the whole reality is like inside of like an organism. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I'm sure the theories when the show was coming out were going crazy. But how many seasons are there so far? There's four. Oh, so you guys are way ahead of us. So you guys know a lot more than we know. We're four episodes in. Y'all are four seasons in. So um, I bet y'all were going crazy with the theories when the show came out. I wish out. like whenever I'm really confused, a question mark would pop up over my head. Because I have been this show. I've been like, huh? Like, what? Right. I mean, I could do that with editing, but geez, it's a lot of work <laughs> and time. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, not that we mind doing it, but we do like to try to get these videos out consistently. Yeah. But um, when they drop it on Netflix, so like when, when shows come out on Netflix, they usually just drop it. Yeah, I think right? the whole season, right? So when Stranger Things came out, did they drop the whole season or did it premiere? Because I don't think it's a network show. So yeah, I don't think Netflix does it like that. I think they drop everything. Well, geez, I don't know. When we watched you, did we watch... When we watched you, did we watch it all? I at think once? the new season just came out, dude. We watched the show you. We watched that whole weird psychotic show, right? And then we get to the very last season where he just all of a sudden be, like, becomes like a out. famous British person. He's like hanging out with like yeah. billionaire British people, and then we just quit watching. <laughs> yeah, it. we're like, dude, no. It got so far fetched in the end. No. I was like, what is going on? He's not popular with British people. Anyways, that's a side note. He's like but hanging out with like British rock. Anyways, stars maybe that's why like Netflix. And maybe you guys liked you. Cool. I like. I like you too. I like season one and season two, but season three, it was just far fetched for me. But anyways, that's my. Netflix when I was watching that show, man, I was feeling like a psycho on the inside. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I like watching this. <laughs> yeah. It was weird. It was weird. I I do recommend you watch it at least once, but well, maybe like, not season three. I'm maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, the show was cool. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't that bad, but then 
Not only does he have to stop, but then he's like beating off in the bushes. <laughs> and I'm like, come on, man. You're going to scratch your Johnson. Beating <laughs> off in the damn bushes. Anyways, I don't understand that. But it, I just don't understand that. But anyways, uh, let's get back to That was our first Netflix sh- like, series that we kind of finished, but didn't. Because like three. I say, guys, we don't watch TV. We've been together a while, and we just don't watch TV. And so you... How, how many years ago was that? That was only like two years ago or something. Yeah, you was like yeah. a. Not that's the so first long. time we really watched a show together. I know that's kind of insane, but so there you go. There you have it. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Insane. But um, well, the first thing we really finished was Game of Thrones. Honestly, I want to talk about the fact that. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, we didn't finish Ozark. No, we didn't. Oh, Bates Motel. We watched Bates Motel yeah. together. Um, guys, it was very crazy. Hopper went in there. He said. Pop. I like Knocked how he's in the out. trenches. I like it. Yeah, pulled the pulled the knife out, cut the teddy bear open. No <laughs> organs. Could you imagine that's like how so weird? That, that's insane, right? Where'd y'all get that skin from? Was so, it made? It makes a lot of sense though why they set this in like the the time period they did because you know nowadays there's a camera. Like if you go walk through the woods, man, you're on camera. Go to your local park, go walk down the trail. Right, and you wouldn't have had to do all this like identifying with Nancy. You would have been live streaming it or something. Right, you know? you're on camera everywhere yeah. you go. So it's actually it's actually genuinely incredible how often you're on camera and you have no idea. Like seriously, like it's incredible. But um, so maybe this company or this Department of Energy sector they were able to get away with so much of this. But that's why I, it's perfect timing where when it shot. It's just like perfect. I just want to know what the intentions are. I mean, the MK Ultra thing obviously seems terrible and everything, but if you're experimenting with like energy, right? Or if you're you have something to do with energy and something happens, and if you create so much energy that you rip open the space time continuum and you rip open a hole to a parallel universe or something, and it looks like it almost looked like they opened up that world and then that world started bleeding in and infecting it, and that's why. Mm-hmm. But anyways, if you do all that, I mean. In a sense, they're doing their best to cover it up to the town because they kind of should. Right. Well, they should evacuate the town. Should yeah. They? Like, Jesus. You know, Anyways, I don't know what's up with that. Do you think people only want to do that for, like, things, for example, when we run out of, like, natural resources, maybe you want to hop in that belly or something and go get all their natural resources? I mean, you just want to do it because, like, if, if we get harness enough energy to, like, you know, do all these... I guess scientifically theoretical things we would want to do it just because i mean anything that you can do to enhance humanity would be a good thing i guess in a sense i mean not really like i don't think technology well in opposite though they obviously have free energy because will is using it up you know what i'm saying they have free electricity or something well maybe in opposite bill, bill. the like the physics perceptions the senses maybe everything is just fundamentally opposite so like you know we react i don't know i don't really know how to describe it but you know maybe maybe those fields they're more in tune with them i guess i should say because you know there's energy fields all around us and there's a lot going on but we're just not programmed to like really see it and perceive it right so maybe in that world you're a lot more tuned in with stuff and so maybe like harnessing electricity the magnetic fields all that stuff maybe that's just part of your senses you know because if you're a bird you feel the magnetic field it's like it's a it's one of their senses we don't have it so i don't know maybe they have a whole different like set of senses i don't know that's what i'm saying man there's a lot of mysteries that we need to get into yes but the show's really fun and i think you know we can start talking about the mysteries of the show and all that and we can sound really dumb which i'm sure we are but on top of all that it's just a really fun show i think the dialogue and the banter is really fun i think mike sort of you know developing a crush on l in a sense is kind of cute stuff like that you know and it's just a pretty feel good wholesome show i like hopper he's doing the right thing i love how you know the mom's going crazy and you know so many times in tv shows the mom's going crazy and she's losing it and then the kid goes and acts out and then everyone makes excuses for the kid because look how bad his mom is but in this show they're not doing that the kid's really stepping up i think that's refreshing and i really like that part and he's like whatever y'all can think my mom's crazy but i'm gonna just hold the funeral just like because i i owe that to my brother all right favorite character favorite character my favorite character right now Mm. or it can be a combo because this show is all about i think hopper is my favorite yeah i like hopper i like hopper because he's an adult i was actually thinking in the show that there was a time it went from the kids to hopper and i was thinking in my head i'm having a lot of fun watching it because it reminds me like when i was a kid and my friends you know we used to Mm -hmm. ride around town on our bikes and stuff when we always had Mm -hmm. something to go do it was like a mission we were always on 
and you know, I don't know if it's really like that anymore for so many kids because a lot of them just sit inside and play video right. games. Right, and along with that, I was thinking about them. You know how they're playing that board game and there's like that crazy monster? When right. they see, if they see what that girl saw, they're going to think it's one of those like in real life. Like yeah. a, a demigod or whatever. A demigod. Yeah, they're going to think it's so scary and believe that stuff's real or something. Right, but it transitioned to Hopper and I was thinking to myself like, now let's switch from like the childish perspective and like let's stop being nostalgic let's put ourselves in hopper shoes and it was such a contrast and it's like what the kids are doing is equally important in a way mm -hmm. but what hopper's doing is like you know it's like grown man stuff and right it's like all right kids he's stay like home. he's like the serious part of the investigation right. and they're like the but the, theirs is just a serious it's just like they're exactly they're it's cool it's like opposite and equal it's like the opposite of like Mike and the kids is Hopper. Right. But they're both just as real. And it's but they both like, have the same goal. And it's kind of like, yeah, you know how shows play off each other, like in House of the Dragon, it's all about like twins and brothers mm -hmm. and second born sons. And there's all these themes. Well, and this theme is all about equal and opposite reactions. Yeah. And there's a lot of that going on. And the bully, the bully peed on himself. So that's always <laughs> fun to see. Yeah. Uh, apparently the gymnasium looked like a Mean Girls set. Yeah. Um, she doesn't even go here. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. We 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 were gonna watch it. We were gonna watch it the other day, but we just didn't. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. We we got involved with the uh, Spider Man stuff. So <laughs> right, yeah. Um, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I don't really know what to say about the show because there's a lot of things left to be, you know, discovered. But we're having a lot of fun watching it. It's definitely a refreshing well, show. I did want to say Go I feel ahead. like in this episode, L became more like personal. She was like at the beginning. Well, she, I mean, yeah, she's learning to talk. Yeah, but <laughs> she, helps. but like even when she like looked at herself in the mirror, she was like pretty. And I remember she looked at Nancy in a picture and was like pretty. So it seems like she like wants to be like a normal girl, but she yeah. has all this stuff going on with her. So I hope she gets that. But at the same time, how long can they keep her hidden? <laughs> like, well, they've done a good job so yeah, far. Like how long are they going to keep that? Is there up? a bathroom in that basement? <laughs> got to be right. Or a yeah, shower? Yeah, something like that. Is there a shower? Th there's got to be. Anyways, because that little girl will be stinking up the, the house. The logistics of that, yeah. Yeah. Um, is there any other any other things that we missed? I mean, it's great to see that Nancy's hanging out with like a decent person now. So, you know, I'm sure Steve will come around maybe, but Steve kind of sucks. The thing is, is Jonathan, because that is kind of sketch, but I do get he was looking for his brother. But, you know, when you see the backless picture of yourself, that is kind of sketch. <laughs> Well, my thing is like that girl just ain't got no class. Like, don't be standing in front of a window with your shirt off like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's stalkers out here. Right. And but anyways, I don't know why. Bears, so. Like she, she lined up perfectly for the shot. She's like, <laughs> I know she was center and everything she in knew the window. Was out there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it really sucks that Steve broke his camera though because cameras are expensive. Especially then, I could imagine. Right. And, and his mom needs all the help she can exactly. get. Exactly. Yeah. Mom's waste yeah, mom's done Mom's done cashed out all the IOUs that she's She's good about three eighteen so. in debt with the dang with her dang boss. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully back then you didn't have to work your whole life away just to buy some Christmas lights like you do these days. Because some things are very expensive. Um, I don't think we missed too much, man. I just think that I just think that once, like, the Department of Energy is one thing, but the Department of Energy is just, you know, a branch of the government in a sense. So it's a government-ran thing, and I just think the rabbit hole can just go so deep in the show. They're so sneaky. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how, I guess, how everything plays out, how deep they're willing to go. I mean, because then you could get into, like, well, the United States government's behind it. Well, then you'd say, well, who does the United States government answer to? And then it's like, okay, Hey, well. what what was the timing when they found Will's body to when Hopper went to go tour the energy thing? Was it not, like, right after? Or is it right before? It was, it was right, right after. Oh, so the, when he started poking his nose in there, that's when they were like, we got to get a body out there. Like, okay. Yeah, for sure. He came in and started asking some questions. They probably got the hunch that he wasn't a hundred percent satisfied and oh when he started looking at the yes i right. remember now and then they the said footage. hey bring in operation lulo and stitch y'all know what i'm saying stitched up that little boy and created a builder bear hopper didn't fall for it nope which is good on him because a lot of people just accepted it but joyce didn't and jonathan is gonna bury a dang stuffed animal right Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys on episode five and six. Let's go.